data. It is vital to the success of our new economy, a new tool to develop better services and shape better public policy in the digital age. A vital source for cities, towns and neighbourhoods struggling to adapt to a changing world. The flow of data from devices and sensors shows us patterns we never suspected. It changes how we think about our homes, our work, our investments and even our health. The opportunities it creates for businesses and institutions are vast. The impact on the community you live in is becoming clear. Above everything, data is human. It is the product of our actions, our desires and our dreams. It offers new and better ways to manage our communities so that they respond to people's real needs. It makes it possible for anyone, anywhere, with the right knowledge and tools to compete in a global economy. In 2018, the Intelligent Community Forum celebrates the people and the places who are humanizing data for the benefit of the place called home. We welcome you to the next step in our journey, the selection of the top seven intelligent communities of 2018. The final step in our year-long quest before one of them is named the Intelligent Community of the Year. Humanizing data is our theme in 2018. What does humanizing data actually mean and how does it inform how cities and counties are managed? That is more than just for government or for big business. It's more than just being big data or open data. It's more than just being a statistic. It's also about being impactful, informing all sorts of human experience, whether it's about creating a road for a school, developing a home, looking at transit opportunities, or maybe the density of your neighborhood. Planners use it to create a zoning bylaw. Zoning is the language of the physical city. It helps to segregate incompatible uses, create a better and orderly pattern of development, it provides confidence for its investors, and it provides the city with an opportunity to communicate with their citizens about how they're protecting the environment and their community. For instance, 40% of all pollution in an urban area comes from buildings. Planners use that information and other information that they get from around the streets and parks and so forth to create a more sustainable community plan. Engineers use it to figure out whether or not they should replace an aging pipe before it bursts. Cities and their budget chiefs figure out whether or not they should be spending certain kinds of money on capital improvements or educational programs. Economic developers use data in developing programs for creating opportunities for retention, expansion, or attraction of investment jobs and talent to their communities. In short, what data does is it supports a better informed society. You know, it's a tool that everybody wants to use to create better opportunities in a community, better civic management, and a way for us to have a clearer picture of who we are and what we want to be as humans. ICF's awards are the public face of a research program and global dialogue that have been going on for more than 15 years. It identifies how more than 170 communities have gone from challenge to opportunity, from stagnation to success, in a global economy powered by digital technology. We share the ICF method in reports and books, webinars and workshops, and a community accelerator program. Our institutes and ICF national organizations put the method into local context, where people in government, business, and education turn it into action. What has 15 years of research taught ICF about how communities succeed today? Fifteen years ago, we predicted that the place called home would be turned upside down by the forces of digital technology, the forces of digital connection that were beginning to be seen then. Here now, fifteen years later, what do we see? Well, we see it everywhere. We read about it in the day's headlines. We see it in our jobs. We see it in our politics. And we see it in our interactions every day with the people that we know, the people that we love. 
And so now here, 15 years later, what have we found? Well, we found that cities and metro areas and counties face a choice. They can either adapt to the drastic changes that have come our way. They can use ICF's method to build prosperity that's not just for the few, but for the many, to find new solutions to social challenges, some of them very old, as well as to tackle the social challenges that have been created by these changes, and to build a richer and stronger uh, culture for their communities. Or they can choose not to. They can choose to hang on to what they know, to keep doing what they have always done, whether it works or not. Broadband and information technology, education that equips us with the skills we need today, as well as the skills we and our children will need tomorrow. Uh, in innovation in the public sphere, innovation in the private sector, programs that bring the entire community into the digital economy. And at the same time, they build a stronger and more engaged community. These are the foundations of prosperity today. And the news, the really great news, is that this is available anywhere, to any community. And ironically, it's by the same digital technologies, the same digital connections that have turned our world upside down. Each year, ICF receives and reviews data on cities, metro areas, and counties worldwide. We analyze them based on the six indicators that make up the ICF method. We then select 21 semi-finalists that represent the best examples of intelligent community development, the Smart 21 Communities of the Year. We invite the Smart 21 to complete detailed questionnaires that give us a deeper understanding of their progress towards becoming future-proof. Our team of independent analysts uses this data to narrow the list to the seven finalists you will meet today the top seven intelligent communities of the year. The seven communities we name today will receive site visits by ICF so that we can validate their data and get a better understanding of the intangible qualities of leadership, collaboration and strategic thinking that supports their success. Reports from those inspections go to an international jury and their scores are combined with results from previous stages of the programme to name the Intelligent Community of the Year. There are many awards for smart cities, digital readiness and new technologies. What makes the ICF Awards different? The ICF Award is different because, first of all, it's done in three different phases and evaluated by three different groups. But the most important thing is that technology is less than 20% of what we factor in. We look at a community in its totality. We really do see how a community unlocks its intelligence for economic and social gain. So we look at innovation, we look at access, we look at how people communicate with each other to tell a message about their future because we think collaboration is important. And we actually try to measure that stuff. So. If you really wanted to break it down, we do something very different because we try to look at the soul of the city, measure it, and award it. Easy, right? The Smart 21 represent a high level of achievement. It is measured by how the place called home responds to the opportunities and challenges of technology change, how it uses data to serve human needs for inclusive prosperity, for cultural meaning and full participation in the life of the community. How the ICF method has made it a place where the next generation will thrive. I'd like to commend the Intelligent Communities Forum. I see the work they do around the globe, drawing together com communities such as ours, cities such as ours, into a shared understanding, a collaborative space, where the innovation that we're all pursuing the marvellous work that our institutions are doing, the marvellous energy of the people in our cities goes forward. It is, a, it is an important drawing together of innovation, expertise and enthusiasm, and I am very pleased to be part of this program. ICF and our network of 170 communities around the world once again congratulate all 21 communities for achieving intelligent community status. 
but only seven will be on stage in London with a chance to become Intelligent Community of the Year. We proudly acknowledge the communities that will advance in our competition to the next level. The top seven Intelligent Communities of 2018. Chiayi City, Taiwan. Espoor, Finland. Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Ipswich, Queensland, Australia. Tainan City, Taiwan. Taoyuan, Taiwan. Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Congratulations to the top seven intelligent communities of 2018. You are cordially invited to meet them, hear their stories and see one of them named as the Intelligent Community of the Year at the ICF Global Summit in London from June the 4th to the 6th, 2018. Each year, the summit draws leaders of intelligent communities together to learn, to seek economic opportunity and to gain inspiration for action. The annual summit is unlike any municipal, urban planning or economic development event on the globe. Congratulations to the top seven intelligent communities of 2018. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in June in London. And remember, wherever you go, whoever you connect with, in person or online, there is no place like home.